Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Pedal Shift Project. The Pedal Shift Project is a series of conversations, thoughts, and experiments around the bike touring lifestyle. From tips and tricks to ideas on how to ride your ride, let's shrink the world by bike. Show notes and more are available at pedalshift.net slash 186, and you can email the show pedalshift at pedalshift.net or call the voicemail hotline 202-930-1109 and check Pedal Shift out on all the socials as well. Hello, everybody, and a very happy Thanksgiving to you if you're celebrating here in the U.S., a delayed thanks- happy Thanksgiving to you in Canada and anywhere else in the world where it's not today or this Thursday or the day that you're listening, and to everybody else in the world, thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanksgiving is a time in the United States when we give thanks for all sorts of things, friends, family, dogs, uh everything. (laughs) For this particular episode, we're going to give thanks to Bicycle Touring. And this is one of my favorite shows of the year. And this is a brand new version of it. And I wanted to say thank you in advance to everybody who helped make this show possible because I'm going to be reading and playing voicemails from a variety of people, a whole bunch of people who are giving what they're thankful for around Bicycle Touring. I am so excited to share this all with you. Before we get into that, I've got a few bits of housekeeping. First off, Pedal Shift Live coming December 7th, so not too far from now, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a Saturday afternoon if you're on the East Coast, and then curvature of the Earth, you do the time zone adjustment from wherever you are. We will be doing the usual Ask Me Anything on all things bicycle touring, plus we're going to have a very short segment, but a cool segment, on revisiting cycling in western New York on the Erie Canal, uh, because that's where we're going to be podcasting from. You're going to have a brand new background. (laughs) I'm going to be on the shores of uh, Lake Ontario. So maybe if things work out, I can actually get a cam on that. So you can see a beautiful Lake Ontario from where I will be recording from. Also, and perhaps most importantly, I'm going to be unveiling my very first tour of 2020, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. This has been in the works for the better part of the last couple of months, and I'm, I, I, I think all of the things are just kind of finally trickling into place, so I'll be sharing those details with you on Saturday, December 7th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you would like to Throw some questions at me for the AMA, please do so. Pedal shift at pedalshift.net or call the voicemail hotline 202 930 1109. Details on everything and how to join in at the time of the live show are all at pedalshift.net slash live. I have a bit of fun news. Uh, the proposal that I submitted a million years ago and frankly forgot about <laughs> uh, to the 2020 National Bike Summit was drum roll, please accepted. I will be presenting uh, to the state officials or the state folks at the pre-conference to the 2020 National Bike Summit, a session on advocacy and lobbying 101, the legal tips for C3 nonprofit bicycle advocates. If that is all gobbledygook to you, that's fine. It's just me being a lawyer and uh, mixing my lawyerdom with my bikedom, and that's pretty exciting for me. If you happen to be with any of the advocacy organizations that are members of or attending the National Bike Summit, you might actually get to see this. Uh, That's going to be at the pre-show. Unfortunately, I won't be uh, presenting at the main conference. I believe that Annalisa Vandenberg is going to be on a panel and a few other friends of the show. So I'm hoping, maybe thinking, trying to possibly get together a meetup next March when it's here in town in D.C. More to come on all of that. But if you are coming to the National Bike Summit, uh, I will be presenting to a teeny tiny little bit of you. And I'm pretty excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, as much fun as teaching uh, the rules of tax law are to nonprofits. But that's kind of what I do. So what about bicycle touring are you thankful for? I think I'm going to just start because I've got the microphone and that's, uh, you know, my prerogative, right? Podcaster's prerogative. I am thankful for a couple of things. Number one, I am thankful for bicycle touring being accessible adventure for someone in my shoes. I know that a lot of folks who walk the path that I walk often find that their physical pursuits, when they get to, shall we say, a certain age, are kind of diminished. And for me, in bicycle touring, I'm finding I'm just getting warmed up. And the types of adventures that I'm able to go out and do and take part in and stretch and 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 challenge myself with 
are things that I think I'm going to be able to do for decades to come. And that is really exciting to me. Um, I know lots of folks who are into, oh, basketball and other types of physical activities that as they start to get a little bit older, you know, they can't hoop it quite as well. They can't do the things that they loved quite the same way. And I'm really grateful that the thing that I sort of settled into much later in life compared to, I think, what other folks do, uh, you know, is something that I'm going to have for a while. And that sense of adventure has been always something that I've pursued. And to be able to find it is just great. And I'm, I'm really grateful to have that and to have that as my distraction, if you will, or my supplement to my everyday life. And I love that. And that is why I'm so thankful for bicycle touring. The other thing I'm grateful for, of course, is all of you. Um, this podcast is 186 episodes long and counting, and I'm just so grateful that this community has started up from nothing. And the uh, feedback, the participation that I get from folks like you who are listening really uh, makes me happy. And it really makes my ability to enjoy bicycle touring that much greater because of the show. So I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for Pedal Shift and everything that is around it. So thank you for making me thankful for bicycle touring. That's a little meta, but that's that's it. So let's uh, learn a little bit more what other folks are thankful for with bicycle touring. I am thankful for all the places and the distance that bicycle touring can take me. This year in particular, I am thankful for a beautiful fall gap ride with mostly decent, although colder than I expected weather. It was nice to see the gap in a different season because usually I end up riding in the spring or early summer. I am also very thankful for your podcast, actually. I ended up adding the entire Montour Trail into my ride. In fact, I did a loop. I started in Cumberland, went out to Pittsburgh, did the Montour, and came back to Cumberland again. I heard about riding the Montour from your podcast and how to do that. So just wanted to say thanks. So thank you, Tim. Vince LaGreco. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving where I'm from, New Zealand. But practicing thankfulness is always nice, so I thought I'd join in. I'm thankful for the friendly and helpful people I've met through cycling. My local bike shop has been really great with helping me understand basic bicycle maintenance. I'm also thankful for the cool bike activist people in my area that I've met recently. They campaign for better cycling infrastructure, lawmaking, and driver biker education, and I feel lucky to have made some awesome new friends. Rory in New Zealand. I have kind of a strange thing I give thanks for. I like to listen to audiobooks when on long rides. What I found is that books or sections of books get linked in my mind to the places I was riding while listening to them. For instance, last spring, I wrote down from Astoria re-listening to mostly Robert Heinlein books. I was on a book called Friday in Southern Oregon and can't think of the Seven Devils without thinking of that book too. Ray. I think my reflections are like my fellow travelers. Reflections of kindness, beauty, making friends, overcoming challenges and exploration fill the bicycle traveler's carts. I'm no different. As a photographer, I have always loved sharing images of what I see around me. One of my favorite slogans is, seeing is believing. So many people in our fast-paced society never or seldom take the time to see the world around them. Seeing is much easier when you travel by bicycle. You can actually choose to see and to capture a moment that is in front of you. Sharing images are easy in today's world, and now everyone can enjoy it, not just you. The opportunity to see is my favorite thing about bicycle travel. Seeing never lets you down. It makes memories forever. Keith. I'm thankful for all of the great people I've met through biking. You won't meet better people than you will in a cycling community. Scott. I'm thankful to have been blessed with a home on the sea and O. I'm especially blessed to ask passerbys if I can assist them. I've met some wonderful people who have stopped to use the hose, have a snack, or rest by the fire pit. I am so very thankful to be on the trail. Clara. I'm thankful that at 62 years old, I can still cycle 50 to 60 miles a day. I'm thankful for all the friends I've made over the years while biking and the kindness people show while on the trails. I had a flat tire once and every person that rode by stopped to offer assistance. What a great group of people. Diane. 
I guess I'm thankful for buying an e-bike. It's kind of reinvigorated my uh, love of cycling. I love riding it. It's just the best thing. Put uh, 700 miles on it since Memorial Day. Mark Van Ram. Bicycling has really saved me from myself. At 345 pounds and gaining, my PTSD was making me eat myself to death. I was so depressed that I thought of suicide daily. I figured I could eat till my heart's content and be dead in a year. When that didn't happen fast enough, I got hostile. Fired, fat, and hostile, I ran low on money and took to the trail for treat transportation two years ago. I'm 210 pounds now, ride almost every day, sometimes as far as 60 miles, sometimes pulling my dog to the park. I'm so thankful I stumbled upon this obvious solution to both my mental and physical health. Paul. I am so grateful that the Great Allegheny Passage runs through my hometown of Connellsville. The town that boomed in the coal and coke era is slowly being revitalized thanks to the formerly underappreciated beauty of the area that is now highlighted by the trail. I am blessed to be witnessing that rebirth and to still be able to enjoy the freedom of riding miles and miles with no traffic concerns. I am thankful to be a part of the wonderful, diverse community of bikers, all sharing a childlike joy found in biking to new places. Barb. Thankful that I am in my cathedral of light with the sunlight filtering through the green and gold in areas we would never see unless you were on the seat of a bike. Marianne. Love riding the Gap. I've met people from all over. The scenery is second to none, and I hope to ride again soon before it gets too cold. Phil. I am thankful for still being able to ride. I know it won't last a long time, but while it does, every ride is special. Johnny. I'm thankful I've been able to ride the Gap C&O in its entirety in 2015 and many varying rides on portions of it. Riding in over a dozen MS-150 rides and recently riding a ride from Los Angeles to San Diego for the MS Society as well always feels good to help people as I'm riding and enjoying the bike. Tom. I am thankful I got the opportunity to ride from Pittsburgh to DC this summer. One of my major bucket list rides checked off. Ed. I'm thankful for two great rides on the Gap, one in the spring and one in the fall. Thankful for the great weather I experienced on both occasions and spectacular color on the fall ride. Thankful I have a friend who now has an e-bike like me so we can travel together and thankful we can cost share. Roxanne. The freedom, openness, opportunity to just go. I'm thankful for all of that. Grateful and blessed to have had what I feel to be an epic round trip on the Gap and CNO. It changed my life. The people I met changed me, and this was my first time being on those trails. I'm thankful for it all. Ryan. I would say I'm thankful for the opportunity I had this year to cycle the CNO and Gap Trail with my son. Um, he graduated with his PhD in physical therapy in May. And then the stars aligned, we were able to do an eight day bike tour. Uh, since I teach, I had the summer off and he hadn't started his job yet. He isn't a cyclist, but he was in incredibly excellent shape from playing college level ultimate frisbee. Uh, his biggest complaint on the trip was that his butt hurt. I think we can all relate to that. And one of the best memories I have from the trip was standing at a waterfall on the gap for 30 minutes and neither of us felt the need to talk. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get to do this again, ever, but that makes this just an extra special trip. So I say thanks, Tim, for the motivation to do the CNO and Gap Trails. I have a memory with my son that I'll never forget. Thanks for the podcast. Brian Benton. I am truly thankful for the opportunity to explore and have crazy adventures on two wheels. To have a sister, Kathleen, who travels with me on long journeys constantly inspires me to keep going and refuses to give up regardless of injuries, bike malfunctions, and inclement weather. In addition, she has opened my eyes to this great cycling community who are some of the most magnificent, memorable people I have ever met. Cheers to all and have amazing holidays. Stephanie. I am thankful for family and good friends. Bicycle touring is great, but nothing replaces family and friends. Invite them along. 
Preston Page Piper, the Triple P. I am thankful for all the wonderful people that I have met along my journey on the C&O, the Gap, and also the Montour Trail now. I'm thankful that my life has started over in a better way. Before I started my journey October 9th, 2019, every day I contemplated suicide. My depression and all I had me so... My depression had me so bad, I didn't like people. I didn't like my own life. But since I started my journey on the CNO in Harpers Ferry, I have met so many people, so many good people. They have changed my outlook of life, and now I can't see my life any other way. Thank you to everybody that has been there to help me out mentally, physically, financially. Much love to everyone. Michael. I'm thankful for all of these in terms of bicycle touring. The people, experiences are perhaps the top but everything else is right behind. Pete. I am thankful for my health that allows me to feel the sense of wonderment that I experience when riding somewhere far from home under my own power. It is a feeling of vulnerability and excitement all wrapped into one. Chris. I'm able to take something that I use for two-wheel therapy, commuting, hauling from the grocery store, riding with friends and family, achieving personal stretch goals, and then take it on a vacation, self-supported, at low cost and low emissions to some of the most beautiful places in the world, as well as down the road from home. From an overnighter to extended travel, how could I not be thankful for that? Rod. The communities and organizers who have created safe, integrated, as well as alternative routes for me as I enter and explore different regions. Paul. I'm thankful to have access to a machine that lets me slow down and truly enjoy the journey. Peggy. I'm grateful that the bear on the trail ahead of us ignored the pebbles we were firing at it with our slingshots. We thought it would just leave and we could continue bike packing on the trail. Instead, we had to push our bikes through a river to get past it. Adrian. I'm thankful for my health and for the kindness of strangers. Also, you have an awesome last name. Suzanne Mooney. I'm thankful for nice surprises like a beautiful sunrise in the morning when I didn't expect it. Thankful when I managed to weather difficulties and come through them. Caroline. Folks, no matter where you are in the world as you listen to this, uh, whether you're on a bike or not, I want to say thank you again for listening. And once again, thank you to Bicycle Touring. And as always, we like to close out the show with a special shout out to the Pedal Shift Society. Because of support from listeners like you, Pedal Shift is a weekly bicycle touring podcast with a global community, expanding into live shows and covering new tours like this year's DC to Cincinnati bike tour. If you like what you hear, you can support the show for five bucks, two bucks, or even a buck a month. And there's one shot and annual options if you're not into the small monthly thing. Check it all out at pedalshift.net slash society. On to the society. Kimberly Wilson, Caleb Jenkinson, Cameron Lean, Andrew McGregor, Michael Hart, Keith Nagel, Brock Dittis, Thomas Skadow, Marco Lowe, Terrence Manson, Harry Telgatis, Chris Barron, Mark Van Ram, Brad Hipwell, Stuart Bucket, Mr. T, Roxy Arning, Nathan Poulton, Stephen Dickerson, Vince LaGreco, Paul Culbertson, Scott Culbertson, Cody Florchinger, Tom Beninati, Greg Braithwaite, Sandy Pizio, Jeff Muster, Seth Pollock, Joseph Quinn, Drew Porter, Byron Patterson, Joachim Robb, Ray Jackson, Jeff Fry, Kenny Mikey, Lisa Hart, John Denkler, Steve Hankel, Miguel Quinones, Alejandro Avilas Reyes, Keith Spangler, Greg Towner, Dan Gebhardt, Jody Zoranin, Lucas Barwick, Michael Baker, Brian Bechtol, Reinhardt Biggle, Greg Middlemas, Connie Moore, William Goffman, Brian Benton, Joan Churchill, Mike Bender, Rick Weinberg, Billy Crafton, Gary Matushak, Greg Latois Lopez, James Sloan, Jonathan Dillard, John Funk, Tom Bilch, Ronald Paroli, Dave Roll, Brian Hafner, Misha LeBlanc, Ari Messenger, David Grotke, Todd Grosbeck, Wally Estrella, Sue Reinhardt, and John Lecco, and thanks to all past and anonymous contributors for help make this show happen. Thank you for joining. You can find Pedal Shift at pedalshift.net for more great bicycle touring content. 
You can hear the Pedal Shift Project through Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app. Opening music courtesy of Jason Kent off his self-titled album. The track is called America. Check out his band Sunfield's latest release, Mono Mono, wherever cool music is available. <laughs> <laughs>